What's going on, family? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And I find know that there's one struggle that a lot of us face, right? You, me, us. If there's a one struggle that I know a lot of us face, it's trying to find a way to come up with innovative episode titles, trying to come up with innovative episode names and topics and all these different things. Today, I'm going to go all the way in. I'm about to dive in, all right? I'm about to dive in, no scuba equipment, and I want to show you a way that you can come up with endless episode topics. Let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here, you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. In understanding that we have the ability to share so many experiences that we've had over the course of our lives, right? You have a story. There's been some struggles that you've overcome. There have been successes that you have. But sometimes, right, as we grow and as we get a little bit older, we tend to forget about some of the things that we've accomplished. We tend to bury some of those trials that we face because after we came over, we're like, I don't want to deal with that no more. I don't want to think about that no more. And I don't even want to be in the place to where that has space in my mind. Okay. And, and I'm saying that because for me, there was a point in time to where it was right around like the seventh grade right? Seventh grade in high school, I got to the point to where I got a little itch and I just started like, I just started liking to steal things, right? And I was going into in the grocery stores. I was going into gas stations. I was going wherever I could and I would just steal things. Even if I had the money to buy it, I created this desire and created this feeling of, Ooh, I could get caught but I'm not going to get caught until a point in time to where I was in Sam's and then I had a video game. I grabbed the video game. I stuck it in my pants, went over into Sam's into the bathroom. There I pretended like I was using a restroom. And then there was a gentleman who came up beside me. And then after I used the restroom, right, then I went to wash my hands the gentleman was standing right beside me. And then I realized once I was leaving out of the restroom, he was then following me. And then one thing led to the next. And then my casual stroll out of the restroom as I was heading toward the exit turned into me making a dead sprint to my mom's car. I threw the game behind. And the only thing that I could think of at that point in time, the only thing I could think of was how can I now get out of this thing safe? How can I now get out of this thing without catching a charge? Or ultimately, how can I just make it back home? I didn't care about the game. I didn't care about the DVD. None of that stuff mattered to me. I was only focused on trying to get home. You might say, John, what does that have to do with today's topic? Today, I want to show you how to get home. And getting home for you looks like coming up with a bomb topic that your audience needs to hear. Coming home for you looks like you being able to position yourself in a way to where you can share your expertise and your audience is still engaged and they're locked in. So as we go ahead and dive in today, first of all, if this is your first time listening, this is your podcast mentor with me, Jonathan Jones. And Ultimately, we focus on helping you establish your platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. And now the first way I want to give you to help you understand that the topics overflow. Okay, the first thing I want to give you is unplug. Okay, unplug. That's, that's the first point. Because I've realized as I take lunch now, right, I go outside and I leave my phone 
One thing I've begun to realize is that when I'm away from TV, when I'm away from my phone, I now can think a lot more clearly. And when you have this time to unplug, now things that you've read earlier in the day, calls that you were on earlier, magazines or whatever it is you might have seen, other podcasts you might have heard, now you're beginning to really process through some of those thoughts, some of those ideas, and some of those concepts. So unplugging helps you by way of now you're really focusing in on what you thought of earlier, what you saw earlier, right? So the first way I want to help you get more podcast topics is being able to unplug. So now you can hone in on some of the content that you saw earlier, right? So I want you to unplug. The next thing I want you to do, I want you just to devote 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes. You can start with five if you need to. But just begin to write down what are some accomplishments that you've made in your life, right? Did you graduate high school? Did you graduate middle school? Did you graduate college? You got this certificate. You were the best sales associate over here, right? You're the record holder in the state for blank. Because when you begin to take time and really think about the successes that you've had over the course of your life, and you step back, and then you really assess like, wow, everybody in the state wasn't number one. Everybody in the state wasn't number two, number three. But by you being able to say that you won the state championship for track and field, by you being able to say you placed third in the country, that's a big deal. And when you begin to think of those stories, and then you write, you, when you begin to think of those accomplishments and those successes, right? Now you're in the place to where you're saying, okay, if I was able to be number one in the country in track, what did I learn as I went through that process? I learned how to be disciplined. I learned how to develop a work ethic. I learned how to sacrifice some of the things that I wanted in order to do some of the things that I needed. And then when you begin to piece the principle together with the story, now this helps you go further because now you're saying, okay, well, if I extracted these things, what can my audience or how can my audience benefit from what I'm sharing? Right? So the first thing is we have to do, we have to unplug. We have to unplug, get away from some of this noise, get away from some of this noise, get away from some of this noise. And when we begin to get away from the noise, that helps us better digest some things we saw earlier. The second thing, we have to list off our accomplishments. You bad. You a bad woman. You a bad man. But sometimes we're moving too fast in life, so we forget. So we want to take about five to ten minutes, right? Pick one, five minutes or ten minutes, and then list out what have you accomplished? And then what did it take for you to accomplish that thing? Right? If I said, if I said we're we got a 4.0. We know in order to get the 4.0, it took studying. It took tutoring. It took sometimes you having to stay up to pull an all-nighter. So now these are principles that we can extract and then begin to apply towards sharing this information with somebody else. And then the third one I just want to share with you is, does anybody have a favorite book? Right? If you're streaming on YouTube, do you have a favorite book? If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Good Pods, wherever you are, do you have a favorite book? Because I have I have two books that I'm currently reading, right? Well, one book I'm currently reading, this other book I've read multiple times before. But if you're on YouTube, you can see this. The Magic of Thinking Big. 
acquire the secrets of success, achieve everything you've always wanted, personal property, financial security, power and influence, the ideal job, satisfying relationships, a rewarding and enjoyable life by David J. Swartz. I'm going to have the link down in the show notes if you want to cop the book. But y'all, right here, if you want to talk about how to come up with endless topics for your show, here it is. Look, I, I, I pre-marked some of these points. So look, this is on page 97. It says, this test, it says, take this test to measure the size of your thinking. I could have did an episode on that today. What is the size of your thinking? And then down at the bottom, he has three sections. He says, what's the situation? The second session is the second section is the petty thinkers approach. And the third section is the big thinkers approach. Depending on your topic, let's say you're somebody who's in real estate. For you, the situation could be you looking to sell a property. The petty thinkers approach could be, let's see how I can sell this property for the highest amount possible so that ultimately I can get the best return without doing anything extra. The big thinkers approach could be, well, we're not going to sell it right now. We're going to focus on renting it. So we're going to find a way to increase the amount of revenue we can generate in, right? So somebody can swing that and turn that into a podcast topic. Talking about what's the situation? What's the petty thinkers approach? Or what's the big thinkers approach? And even another way we can flip that, we can talk about what's the situation? What's a scarcity mindset versus a growth mindset? What's a poor mindset versus a wealthy mindset? When you begin to find certain books and certain just overall equations, I think that's the best thing about formulas. You can remove the individual or the thing that doesn't apply for your target audience, and then you can replace it with the thing that does. See what I'm saying? Okay, so that's one topic. I just want to pull. Here's another one. All right. This is what, page 144. This one says, upgrade your thinking. Think like important people think. In here it says, how am I thinking checklist. Situation, when I worry. Then the second section says, ask yourself. Would an important person worry about this? Would the most successful person I know be disturbed about this, right? So think about what's your industry. If you're doing real estate, you can do you can do an episode on a checklist for items you need before you consider selling your property. Y'all, it's just taking the concepts in books and then ultimately tweaking it to where you can leverage it for your audience. Let me hit another one in this book and then we're gonna, we're gonna go to my other book. Chapter 11, how to turn defeat into victory. How to turn defeat into victory. At the end of the day, as those topics I just talked about from the magic of thinking big, how to turn defeat into victory that's mindset. And mindset applies to any industry, to any sport, anywhere. All right, let me hit this one. We're currently reading this book right here, Limitless by Jim Quick. And the, and, uh, the subtitle says, Upgrade Your Brain. Learn anything faster and unlock your exceptional life. There is one piece I wanted to pull out of here because I was reading how it talks about How it talks about one of his favorite people, Jim Quick, the author, says one of his favorite people is Stan Lee, right? And then he said, Stan, you've created so many X-Men characters over the years and Avengers. Who's your favorite character, he asked him. 
He said, I didn't even hesitate for a second. Iron Man, Stan Lee said. And who's yours? Jim Quick said, I pointed at his tie and he said, that would be Spider-Man. Then he said, Stan nodded and said, with great power comes great responsibility. That's so true, Stan. And the opposite is also true. With great responsibility comes great power. The thing I wanted to highlight here, that was a quote from the book. The most powerful thing about quotes and the most powerful thing about information is that when we read it, the author had what their thought was, right? Because that's what the quote is. However, the author can't determine how I receive or how I perceive what they said. So then that gives me another perspective. And for you, That now gives you information that you can share elsewhere. So I want you to understand if you're struggling trying to come up with topics, you're struggling, you don't know what to share next. First thing I would say to you is unplug, right? Unplug and give yourself some time away from technology, away from your phone, away from your laptop, away from your iPad to where you will be in a place and a space to where now you get to unpack some of the thoughts and ideas and concepts that you had previously, right? That was number one. Number two, number two is you want to make certain, all right? You want to make certain that you give yourself time for you. And I said, do this by taking five to 10 minutes right? By taking five to 10 minutes and then being able to write down what have you accomplished in your life? And then after you write down what have you accomplished, begin to draw like the the web diagram. What did it take for me to accomplish this? In order for me to be an all-American track runner, I had to do what? I had to do sprints. I had to eat healthier, right? And then share with your audience the principle as it applies to them. And then the third thing, like I said, what are your favorite books? Right? What are your favorite books? When we began to think about what are some of our favorite books and think about what stood out to us, what resonated with us within the book, then we take that information And then we share it, right? Pull a quote out and then share how that quote resonated with you. But then the last one, this is the bonus. This is number four. The last one. (sighs) Take quotes, take poems, take stories. And then with those things, then begin just to tweak it. Just to tweak it. And then once you tweak it, now you make it your own for your audience. Family, like like I shared before, if this is your first time watching or listening, we greatly appreciate you taking the time to listen to your podcast mentor. And then if you're out there and you have a question, I would encourage you to go to jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. JonathanJonesSpeaks.com forward slash mentor, and you can submit your question for us to maybe feature it on the show and then get it answered. You know what I'm saying? So JonathanJonesSpeaks.com forward slash mentor. That's where you can uh, submit your question. Scroll down at the bottom, but also that's just our podcast uh, site, right? It's on my main website, but JonathanJonesSpeaks.com forward slash mentor. Get everything related to your podcast mentor. And of course, family, of course, of course, of course, we appreciate all the support by way of YouTube. We appreciate all the support by you subscribing and leaving your Apple review. So we thank you and we do not take that for granted at all. All right. We don't take that for granted at all. But family, until next time, I would encourage you to share this episode with a friend if you felt it was valuable. But in addition to that, shoot me a DM, your podcast mentor show on Instagram. 
Let us know if the information was beneficial. Let us know what topics you'd like for us to cover. And if you're on YouTube, just comment down below. What point are you going to take with you? What point are you going to apply? My family, until next time, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And the purpose of this show is to help you to establish your platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. Till next time, peace and God bless. <laughs>